So if you haven't heard of tweening, it's pretty much like animation, which pretty much means uh, it can be useful for a lot of different things that can make your game look a lot better. So um, <clears throat> we're going to be animating this part right here uh, whenever a player clicks it. So uh, it's going to go from here. Uh, let's actually check its position. Uh, so it'll go from there all the way to there. All right. So that's where it's going to animate. That's the starting area. This is the, this is the ending area. So we're going to script this real quick. So we're going to call this on click up on click. There you go. And uh, let's actually uh, zoom in on this just so y'all can see this a bit better. So uh, actually, yeah. All right. So uh, we're going to first make a, a, a bit of variables real quick. So first off, um, we're going to we're going to define the tween service right here. Uh, so that's pretty much game colon get service tween service right there. Drop a line. And then we got another variable that we have to do, which is uh, tween info. Uh, so that's going to be equal to tween info dot new. And it has a list of uh, parameters that you have to set here. So first uh first off uh, it has to be the the amount of seconds the animation is going to last for which i guess it's just going to be one second and then we have to get its easing style so put enum dot easing style uh i usually like to use quint uh but that's kind of that's kind of what you want to do really but i usually use quint you can mess around with the different easing styles i think there's a dev forum post on uh how all the different easing styles uh go uh i'll try to link that in the description if you'll um if you'll want to use that and uh, next parameter being the uh, easing direction. So enum.easingdirection.inout is what I like to use. And then we have the number repeat count, which is uh, what I like to set zero. Uh, bool reverses, false. And then uh, number delay time uh, is going to be zero. So it will, it will immediately uh, animate once, uh, once it uh, starts. So yeah, that's gonna be the uh, that's gonna be the tween info. You don't really need these uh, last parameters uh, unless if you really want to use them. So um, you could just get rid of them if you'd like, and you could just have the number, time, uh, style, and direction. Because all we're gonna be doing uh, is just gonna be like a one-time thing. Like once you click it, it just moves, and then it just stays there. So I'm gonna drop a line, and we're gonna make a table called goal that we're going to put a, uh, a table right here. It's an empty table, and we're going to be adding stuff to that later. This is going to be like the list of properties uh, that it's going to that it's gonna animate. So, uh, here we go. So, um, in order to make it so it can animate whenever uh, you click the part, uh, since we have a click detector right here, and there's a script inside of it, we could easily... There's an event called mouse click uh, in the click detector, so we can say script.parent.mouseclick colon connect function and then we could drop a line. We don't really need a uh, any parameters right here since all we're doing is just animating it and nothing else. So um, what we can do is say goal dot position, which um, which adds the position property to the table. And um, since this is a uh, this is a three D part, uh, we're we're going to be uh, using vector three. So vector three dot new and uh, we're at zero five uh, negative ten. So it's at zero five ten, and it's gonna go to uh, zero five negative ten. So drop a line, and we can say uh, it, 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 you can do like a few things, right? Um, usually, like if you want to create the tween and immediately play it, what you can do is you can say tween service colon create script dot parent dot parent uh, tween info and uh, goal. So script.parent.parent is the object that it's animating, which is, uh, this is the script, uh, and then the parent is the click detector, and the click, de uh, click detector's parent is the part, and then we have the tween info, which is this right here, it uh, has all the, um, it has all the info for the tween, and then the, and the goal is the list of properties, right? And then we could just put colon play right after that. Or if you just want to set this a variable and play it later, you could just say local tween, and then just set that as uh, the variable and then you could just play it later on so right here right there so yeah that's uh let's actually go ahead and test this out real quick so we're gonna go over here all right and here we have the part and we're going to click it and it animates over there it kind of looks a bit choppy i don't know why it does that but at least it works so um 
Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a UI element. I already have a button right here. So whenever you click the button, uh, whenever you click the button, it'll uh, move off the screen. So we're going to make a local script. This toggled thing, by the way, is just so like people don't spam click it just to ruin the tween. So uh, here's what we'll do. Uh, so same thing as last time, local tween service equals game colon get service tween service and then we could say local tween info equals tween info dot new one enum dot easing style dot quint it's gonna be the same as last time uh easing direction dot in out just like that and there you go drop a line and uh same same thing put a goal uh put a goal variable which is just gonna be a table and then we're gonna there's an event in a, a text button called mouse button one down which supports touch taps and uh, mouse clicks so what we, uh, we can say script dot parent uh, dot mouse button one down colon connect function and uh, we don't really need any parameters there either also I forgot to rename this to on mouse down there you go um, so there you go there's the function and whenever uh, the button gets pressed uh, if it's either a touch tap or a mouse button one click uh, it's gonna fire and then uh, anything inside this code uh, will happen once it gets uh, pressed so we could say if script dot parent dot toggled dot value equals equals true then uh, we can say script dot parent dot toggled dot value equals false so that way people don't just spam click it and then it just ruins the animation if they do that so um once once it's um all once it's already toggled uh, it'll uh turn off the toggle so that way they can't uh keep on spam clicking it just to ruin the animation then we could say goal dot position and since uh since this is a uh a gui then uh we're gonna have to use udem2 so we can say udem2 dot new and then we could uh, put in um, negative point one zero uh, point five zero um, and just just to know uh, this actually goes off the screen because the size is a point one by point zero uh, seven five and we have an anchor point of zero point uh, zero and then point five on the y and then the position on the y is point five the position on the x is point zero zero five so just so you know and uh, just to test this uh, really quickly, negative point one, bam, it's off the screen. So um, that's just to prove uh, that it goes off the screen there. And once we set the goal, we could say tween uh, service colon create, and then the instance will be a script parent, and then we can put in the tween info, and then we could put in the goal, and then uh, we could just put colon play right there, and it'll just play the tween right there. And if we test this, if we test this really quickly, uh, boop, there you go. It went off the screen right there. And yeah, that's how uh, that's how you can do animation with this. You can do this with any sort of properties. Uh, it doesn't. It's not just. It's not just uh, position. You can do this with size as well. You can udem two dot new, and then you know, uh, I don't know point one zero. Uh, 0 0.250 and then if we do that it'll it'll the the y-axis uh, the size will become bigger as it uh, moves out the screen so right there as you can see it does that and yeah you can just mess around with this as much as you can um, so yeah that's where that's how you can use tween servers to make uh, some cool animations that can make your game look a lot better and if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below and give me some video ideas because I haven't really done a lot of uh, videos in a while. So, yeah, I'll see you all in the next uh, tutorial video. I don't know. And, yeah, see you all later. Peace.